Bursitis is a common condition that affects many individuals, causing discomfort and often limiting mobility. When it occurs in the foot, it can significantly impact daily activities and quality of life. This video aims to provide a comprehensive understanding of bursitis of the foot, exploring its causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment options. By gathering insights from medical research, studies, and real-life experiences, we can shed light on this condition and offer guidance for effective management. What is bursitis of the foot? Bursitis of the foot is the inflammation of the bursae, which are small, fluid-filled sacs that act as cushions between bones, tendons, and muscles. These sacs help reduce friction and allow smooth movement. However, when the bursae become irritated or inflamed, it can lead to bursitis. Common sites for foot bursitis include the heel, toes, and the ball of the foot. Causes of bursitis in the foot include 1. Repetitive motion. Repeated stress or overuse of the foot, such as running, jogging, or extended periods of standing, can irritate the bursae. 2. Trauma or injury. Direct injury to the foot, such as a fall or sudden impact, can cause bursitis to develop. 3. Foot abnormalities. Structural abnormalities like flat feet, high arches, or bunions can increase the risk of foot bursitis. 4. Inflammatory conditions. Inflammatory conditions like rheumatoid arthritis or gout can lead to bursitis in the foot. 5. Footwear choices. Ill-fitting shoes are those lacking proper support can contribute to increased foot pressure and potentially trigger bursitis. Symptoms of bursitis in the foot include the following. 1. Pain and tenderness. The affected area may feel tender to the touch, and the pain can range from mild to severe. 2. Swelling and redness. Inflammation of the bursae may cause visible swelling and redness in the foot. 3. Limited range of motion. Bursitis can restrict movement, making it difficult to walk, stand, or perform regular activities comfortably. 4. Warmth or heat. The inflamed area may feel warm or hot due to increased blood flow. To diagnose bursitis, a healthcare professional will assess your medical history, conduct a physical examination, and may recommend imaging tests like x-rays or an MRI to rule out other conditions. The examination focuses on evaluating pain points, range of motion, and any inflammation. Treatment options for bursitis in the foot include 1. Conservative measures. Rest and elevation. Reducing weight bearing and elevating the foot can alleviate pressure on the bursae. Ice and heat therapy. Applying ice packs initially, followed by hot compresses, can reduce swelling and relieve pain. Over-the-counter NSAIDs, such as ibuprofen, can help reduce inflammation and manage pain. Footwear modifications. Wearing properly fitting shoes with good arch support can reduce foot pressure and prevent aggravation. Physical therapy. Specialized exercises and stretches can improve foot strength, flexibility, and reduce the risk of recurrence. 2. Advanced interventions. Corticosteroid injections. When conservative measures alone are ineffective, corticosteroid injections may be administered to reduce inflammation. Aspiration. In some cases, a bursa may be aspirated to relieve excessive fluid buildup and reduce pain. Surgical intervention. Surgical removal of the inflamed bursa may be necessary for chronic or severe cases. In conclusion, bursitis of the foot can cause significant discomfort and hinder daily activities. By understanding the causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment options, individuals can take proactive steps towards effective management. It is important to consult a podiatrist for accurate diagnosis and personalized treatment plans. Remember, each case is unique, and a combination of conservative measures and advanced interventions may be the key to finding relief from bursitis of the foot.